Namaste everyone this is I3 and welcome back to my channel in this video let us see how to simulate voltage shunt amplifier with feedback and without feedback using multisim if the video is informative please do like share and subscribe first let us perform voltage shunt without feedback amplifier then we will go with the voltage shunt with feedback in this video we will also see how to take the values in the excel sheet and the frequency response and output in the oscilloscope meanwhile this video is going to be very informative so a small task hit the like button and comment your like number in the comment box and comment also the location where you are watching Firstly, I will place the input frequency and voltage that is AC power source. So select sources and then select AC source. Click on OK. Drag and place on the breadboard. So this is the input for the voltage shunt amplifier. And also we required VCC of 12 volts. Select it. Now place all the resistors. For that select basic and then select resistors here you can search what are the resistors you want for the circuit now i will select all the resistors which i require to simulate this circuit and i will place it on the breadboard Now we have to place the capacitors so select capacitors and search for the capacitors which you want. Now connect the components very clearly, don't make any mistakes at the nodes uh, where you are connecting the wires. So if you connect the connections wrongly, the output will be wrong. So please follow the video while connecting the components.
so this file is to see the output of the voltage shunt amplifier without feedback and for the input we have to connect the other positive terminal to the input So all the four points should meet at that node. So this will be the final circuit. The output is in blue color. We have changed the color of the wire to blue, and the input is in red color. As you can see, it uh, the frequency is one kilohertz and zero point zero one volts. So this is the complete circuit. Now run and click on oscilloscope to see the output. For white BGM, I am clicking the reverse button. You can adjust the scale. of class a class b and time also so that you can get the output clearly i am adjusting the scales and also x and y positions so red is the input blue is the output so as it is a amplifier the output is greater than the input Now in order to get the frequency response of the voltage shunt amplifier click on simulate and then click on analyze and simulation click on ac sweep select the frequency parameters as shown This voltage is the node at the output which is connected at blue color. Just you tap it, then you can get the number. So select voltage at that number. So this is the output. Here you can find increase, constant, and then decrease. For the Excel sheet, click on Tools Excel sheet. So a Excel sheet is appeared at the bottom of your desktop. So here you can find the values, the frequency you applied, and the voltage gain you got. so take some values of these for with feedback voltage shunt with amplifier just we have to take the same circuit but we have to add a resistor of 100 kilo ohm at the collector and base so we have to connect an 100 kilo ohm resistor
Click on oscilloscope to see the output. Click on run button which is in green color and then click on the oscilloscope. So this is the output of the voltage shunt amplifier with feedback. Click on reverse button to get the black BCM. So the blue color represents the output and red color represents the input. So adjust the values, adjust the scale of channel A and the channel B. We have connected channel A to the input and the channel B to the output. For 50 volts, milli volts, we got 1 volt at the output. Blue represents the output, red represents the input. To get the frequency response, click on Analyze and Simulation, AC Sweep and then select the frequency parameters as shown, 1 to 100 MHz. And in the output session, you have to click on Voltage. The voltage is nothing but the wire which you have connected to the oscilloscope output. Just click on it. There you can get a number. So select the voltage of that number. So this is the output. Increase constant and then decrease. So to get the excel sheet values, click on tool, graphs and then click on ok. So these are the steps which you need to follow to get the excel sheet values. So an excel sheet is open at the bottom of your desktop. So click on that so these are the values at some frequency we got the voltage gain this is all about the voltage shunt with and without feedback amplifiers so i have uploaded all the experiments also uh, soon i will upload in my website the document of each and every experiment where you can find aim apparatus circuit diagram observation values graphs and AC's DC sweep values all those things so if it is informative and useful to you please do subscribe like and share to your friends